Leaders of the African American community stood with county lawmakers to announce three new policies up for a vote next week. As ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano explains, lawmakers say these policies are the first steps to change structural racism affecting San Diegans of color. On the 155th anniversary of Juneteenth, a day celebrated as the end of slavery in the U.S., community leaders called for big changes. Today, the black community celebrates progress, but stands firm in our conviction that we have not come far enough. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher announced three policies that would be up for a county vote on June 23rd. The first would provide more authority to the Citizens Law Enforcement Review Board, or CLERB. If adopted, the policy would give CLERB automatic authority to investigate any time a peace officer fires a weapon, when use of force results in great bodily injury, or when an officer uses force during a protest. Whereas before, automatic investigations were only for citizens' complaints or for in-custody deaths. The second is to establish a new county office of equity and racial justice, similar to the one passed by the city. If adopted, the county will hire staff to ensure all county departments tackle inequities for underserved communities. The last policy is to launch a mobile crisis response team, which would redirect mental health and homeless calls to clinicians instead of law enforcement. Ellen Nash says for years, the only option for her brother was to call the Psychiatric Emergency Response Team, or PERT. PERT would put him in jail for a few days, then he would be back at our house again. I am excited today that we will have other options. The actions that we're proposing are only one step that needs to be taken on the long path to substantively address the issues of systemic racism. Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News.